Jim Allison is an extraordinary scientist and person. He's very passionate about cancer and wants to make a difference in the lives of individuals. I can't think of a more passionate person. I can't think of a more dedicated person. And I certainly can't think of a person who has impacted more lives right now as a UT alumni than Jim Allison. Jim had a, a remarkable record as an undergraduate. His transcript only had A's and F's in it. Those F's were just classes that he uh, signed up for, found just boring, so he walked away from them. But we managed to get him to into the graduate program, and uh, he did an absolutely extraordinary PhD. Jim's expertise really has to do with the immune system, and T cells are the real soldiers of the immune system. By understanding how T cells are regulated and how they function, then he can figure out ways to get the T cells to function in the setting such as in uh, cancer. He identified the nature of the T cell receptor and the article he published really put him in the news and he became director of immunology at Berkeley. What Jim found at Berkeley was that on T cells there was a receptor. If you could block that receptor, then the immune system would attack the cancers. It turns out that cancer cells suppress the immune system, so it's stealth to the immune system. He developed a drug to deactivate that break, reawaken the immune system, and harness the power of the immune system to fight cancer. This concept was so um, incredible because we had never thought of blocking an inhibitory pathway in order to turn a system on. Jim Allison opened up an entirely new area of therapy and cancer. And Jim is incredibly persistent. During this long period of 10 years when he was scoffed at for this immunotherapy. He got a lot of people saying, get out of my office, but he just kept saying, no, I'm convinced we have to do it, we have to do it. And eventually a company did listen to him. And cancer immunotherapy now stands as one of the great pillars in our ability to save lives. Most people diagnosed with melanoma die within about six to eight months. And now this drug has enabled at least a third of the people treated to uh, go on and live cancer-free lives. There are multiple drugs now um, that are showing responses in melanoma, lung cancer, bladder cancer, um, Hodgkin's lymphoma because if you think about it, T cells are doing the job of getting rid of the tumors. So it could be used in any tumor type. Dr. Allison occupies many different leadership positions. It's a reflection of his significant roles in basic science, so he happens to be chair of our Department of Immunology. And he also has prominent national positions uh, through his membership of the National Academy of Sciences. He's a very dedicated and passionate about what he does. He should be proud of the accomplishments that he's had. I was delighted to see that Jim was recognized for the Breakthrough Prize in Life Sciences in 2014. The Breakthrough Prize is really America's Nobel Prize. UT Austin provided the scientific education that he needed to really understand biology and to give him the excitement and the passion about that science. So I think UT Austin will always hold a special place in his heart. Jim is obviously a great son of the University of Texas system, but he also is an iconic individual and an American hero. And because of Jim, many thousands of individuals are alive today, families are intact, and he's making a difference for many around the world.